welcome back to the Southern Snack. Our life is too short to be serious. All right, move my lips a little slow on that, just because I wanted to get something good for the thumbnail in case what's about to come is not. Uh, why would I say that? Well, Wawa had a very busy summer. They've had a very busy year, and I've been all for it. But with that said, you know, when I do a video, then more stuff comes out. I got to put it all together. So we're just going to prepare for that, right? You never know. Um, maybe they'll slow it down. But two new pumpkin items. Yeah, welcome to pumpkin spice season. You've got uh, pumpkin brulee. So you got a uh, milkshake and you've got a latte. So basically it's just their pumpkin. It's salted caramel. And then there's little bits. There should be little bits of creme brulee pieces so i don't know what that entails but um don't think this is going to taste a lot like creme brulee but you know we'll see i do forget yeah, there is a touch of saltiness to creme brulee man people just can't part and why are they um uh, why are they just surrounding my car i come to my car there ain't nobody parked around me and then everybody wants to park around me it's just like what the hell people park somewhere else anyways let's uh let's try the milkshake first i guess hmm. i would call this like a salted pumpkin it's very interesting Their pumpkin, so I, I picked up, they use Torani syrup. Um, I've not always been the fan of their pumpkin syrup, but this has pretty good pumpkin flavor. And I remember with the pumpkin cheesecake shake they did, spot on. This one, pretty basic. I think a touch richer than if you just had a pumpkin shake. Almost reminiscent of like a pumpkin roll. They could have gone with that name too on this. Yeah. Pretty pretty good, pretty solid, rich, flavorful, very sweet. Probably a lot of calories, so we're not gonna drink too much of it. Um but I give it eight and a half. I like it. All right now we're scared about the coffee because I know in the past I haven't loved their pumpkin spice coffees. But again, same concept, pumpkin brulee, you have salted caramel, you got creme brulee pieces per the list of items or ingredients. It's supposed to be topped with it, I don't see that it's topped, but whatever. We're going to try it. Yeah, it just doesn't mix as well with the coffee. I don't hate it. It's just a lot of sweetness. Yeah. There's just so much sweetness. It kind of takes away from anything else. A little bit of saltiness, but not like enriching, not super rich, not like the milkshake at all. Still, like, it's enjoyable. Anyone who wants a sugar rush will probably enjoy this um but i i give it like a six right so that is the first part of this review if not the only part who knows i i expect we'll, we'll, they'll do something like a pumpkin donut right they've got to they've got to so anyways i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see y'all around all right so wawa did end up having a couple of pumpkin uh, pastry items, bakery items, whatever you want to call them. You've got a, uh, well, they've got fall items, I mean to say. I thought this was pumpkin at first. Then I looked at it. It's just an ice cinnamon bun. So, limited time only. And then you got a pumpkin bunk cake. Oh boy, nothing bunk cakes. You better watch out. Now, nothing bunk cake seems to be taking their time to be doing the pumpkin uh, flavor. So, you know what? If, if you got a Wawa, which not a lot of people do, but if you got a Wawa, that's a plus, right? Because 
Nothing but cakes. Taking its time. They're taking their time. Alright. Doesn't look like much on the top. Had has like a drizzle. But on the bottom looks pretty pretty fluffy. So let's go ahead. Get a get a bite of this. Slightly dry, not super dry, but just slightly so. Good little, good little amount of um, spices. Not too heavy on pumpkin, but there, there definitely is some pumpkin flavor. But I would definitely say it leans a little bit more into the spice side. It's a nice little spongy dessert. That you can enjoy when you're on the go. You know, it's not like a nothing but cake where you're taking a fork and eating out of this thing. I think it would be a lot better if you heat it up, no question. But I give this thing like a seven. It's it's very solid. All right, this is a cinnamon bun. This thing looks like a huge amount of calories. 150 calories per serving, three per container, so 450 calories. It's not that much sugar, right? It's just uh, 42, yep, doing my math right there because 14 times three is 42. We know that if we play Madden or any football enthusiast would know that. Um, 42% of your daily value of sugar. Of course, I'm not eating anywhere close to this whole thing. Um, I'm just going to skip to the good part, right? We're, we're falling apart here when we push that out, but we want that center. We'll, we'll take a bite of the edge, but I want, I want some of that center real quick. Look, it's a bracelet. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a bite of the bracelet. The icing definitely has an interesting color. I thought, you know, again, this would be pumpkin spice. But I don't think there's, like, pumpkin flavor to it. Let's take a bite of this inner edge. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't too dry on the outside, though. Hmm. Again, not bad. You know, pretty big pastry. Um, has some nice flavor. Tastes like a, a standard cinnamon bun. Obviously, it, it doesn't compare to Cinnabon. Um, but if you heat it up, it'll get you going right. Definitely 7 out of 10 for me as well. So, that's all I've really got to say. I'm thinking this is all we're doing for this review. It really keeps in the fall vibes. And who knows what else Wawa's going to drop. But as far as I know... It's going to keep it simple like this.